in a lot of abdominal pain acutely, or if they've maybe had a chronic, maybe grumbling diarrhea for a while, and other investigations such as blood samples have come back negative, we may, may recommend an abdominal scan. The first thing we do is we clip the hair on the tummy. And we put on some jelly. With the ultrasound, we can see inside the abdomen and we can visualise the abdominal organs. So we start at the front. This is Bessie's diaphragm. We can't see into the lungs with the ultrasound unless they're full of fluid. Her heart is sitting just in front of the diaphragm. Just behind it, this sail shape is her liver. We fan through the liver to check for any lumps and bumps. Sitting just behind the liver, this is her stomach. We're seeing a bit of gas shadowing, which is normal for the stomach. Then we come back. This large strap like organ is her spleen. We scan through the spleen, again looking for any lumps and bumps. This is a loop of bowel which has a lot of gas in, so that's probably her large bowel which does a loop through the intestines. This more stripy area is small bowel. We're looking for any thickening. You can see it looks nice and stripy, which we call wall definition. So there's very good wall definition. This is Bessie's bladder. Again, it has a nice thin wall and it's full of nice black urine. So then we look at the kidney and we're looking to see the cortex and this black inner medulla, that there's a nice difference between the two, that they don't look mottled. In the middle here, this is the renal pelvis. We look for any stones that may be in here. We're looking for any lumps and bumps. So here we can see blood coming from one of the larger blood vessels, moving into the kidney and spreading throughout the kidney. So we can look for any areas where there isn't blood flowing. So if we're worried about an animal with chronic diarrhoea, we may also scan where the aorta splits towards the back legs. In this area, there are lymph nodes either side, and if those are enlarged, it may indicate chronic infection, inflammation, or potentially something a bit more sinister associated with the hindgut.